Alrighty, welcome back to another Fusion 360 tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how you can take a picture of a part of your quad and I want to make an arm guard for the end of this and this is actually from a blade torrent. And so, real quick, let's just show you how you bring images into Fusion. So before I brought the image in, here we go. So you're going to come up here to insert and then down in the corner you can uh, browse your files and so we'll pull this image in and then you have to select a face that you want to put it on so that'll work and hit OK and then we will start a sketch on that same plane so the first step is scaling the image to your part so I'm gonna actually measure this the diameter of the circle right here um, and that is I am getting 5.06 so I'm sure that that was meant to be five millimeters so we will put a five millimeter circle down and if you right click up here in the tree under canvases um, you can get back into edit canvas and we can click and drag in one direction with these arrows or if you grab this corner and drag that'll scale this up so we can move this into position and I think about right there, right there looks good. All right, so I've gone around the arm here and normally if I'm drawing something that's symmetrical, I would take advantage of the mirror tool. But real quick, I wanted to show you that when you take a picture, if you can see this, it's actually not perfectly straight up and down. And so when we go to mirror this, it isn't going to follow on that side. So the best thing to do is to just trace this out, even though it's more clicks, it's just come in here with the spline tool and just trace all this stuff out manually. That way we've got the, that way we know we've followed it correctly. All right, so I'm gonna put some circles down for the motor screws and if we did the scaling right, these should be two millimeters. Let's just check that. So two millimeters would be right there. Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna extend it a little bit. I'm going to extend it a little past two millimeters just so that we get a little better fit. And copy this guy. We will copy him with the move tool. That's where you can find copy. And just drag it down. To here and like I said this isn't line the picture is not lined up vertically so I'm just gonna manually do it for now all right so that looks good let's uh, come in here with the offset tool so select all these lines by holding shift and clicking and then we can choose offset and this is where you can drag out the thickness you want the uh, the wall of the arm guard to be so i think i'll put it about i'll put it like right there that's fine and then i'm going to connect i'm going to connect these so we have a shape to extrude i'll close in those shapes and then i'll connect these dots right here and it's a little tilted uh, i'm not going to worry about that that's that's gonna, not going to be very noticeable. Let's extrude the base of it, and I'm going to just extrude this down. So I think probably a good thickness would be, let's do uh, two millimeters. So it's, in order to extrude in the other direction there, I had to put in a negative two. And then that'll work. And then for the other side, or for the walls, it's edit sketch again, so we can select this face. And then I'm gonna go in the positive direction. So I'm gonna measure the bottom plate here. Two millimeters, well, it's actually two point. Carbon, carbon isn't exactly consistent all the time. This one's 2.15 thick. So let's select that wall and extrude it 2.15 up. Alrighty, so we've pulled up the bumper 2.15 millimeters and you could definitely leave it like this. I wanna add a little pocket right here that the tip of the arm can 
uh, hook into so that this doesn't just flop down. So let's project a sketch up here. Um, quick project and that'll work. And then I'm just gonna close this shape in again. All right, and then I'm just gonna select these guys. I'm gonna select all those faces and extrude up again. And I wanna give myself some extra material so that I wanna cut this so that it blends in. So it'll make a little more sense once I do it, but actually I'm gonna bring that down a tiny bit. So now I wanna come in here from the side and draw a profile that I can cut that down with again. So we will create another sketch and select this vertical plane. And with the spline tool, I'm just gonna come in here and draw out the profile that I want that to look like. So we'll come up about like that, that's fine. And then we'll sweep it back down to the, to the arm again. And I don't want it to bow out right there, so let's adjust this handle. Adjust that a little more. All right, now we gotta close in this shape so that we can actually cut that. All right, so it's not exactly lined up where I need it. So I'm gonna have to come back in here and select these guys. So let's select the, let's select the sketch and move it. So I'm gonna hit this, if you right click all the selected lines, you can select that move tool and I'm gonna bring it out here so that this shape will cut all of that. So we'll select the shape and extrude it over. So it looks like that's gonna work. Yes. All right, I'm good with that. And then also I wanna get rid of some of this, I wanna get rid of this extra material here. So let's turn off some layers so we can see the bottom side of that. So we'll turn off the canvas um, and this body. And I just want a little bit I just want a little tiny lip right here. So I'm gonna project again on this face. I'm gonna come in here and put some lines down that we can attach a curve to. All right, so I'm just gonna come in here with a tiny curve and that looks good. And let's adjust that one a little bit. Maybe like that. And then now I'm gonna take this face and use that to cut the rest of that material away. All right, so that looks good. Hit okay. And then we can bring this body back. All right, so I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to join these two bodies and then I'm gonna export this as a STL and then I will uh, I'll print this and then I'll, we'll see how this fits. The best way to export this from Fusion is to come up to the very top of your tree and right click that. And then we will save this as an STL.